So we're doing video on uh, ornamental grasses. I like them because you don't have to shear them or mess them. You just cut them back once a year. They grow back. They're good dry. About four years ago, we put in about this size ornamental grasses. They were about this size when we brought them here. And in the last four years, in really rich soil, they have grown into beasts. Um, they were probably a little bit bigger than this right here. These were um, pretty good sized chunks we brought from our other house. But in four years, really rich soil, they have grown monstrous. They're so thick now though, the, the centers will start dying out. This, they'll still get another couple more years before that happens on this. They get a little bit wider, but they really enrich the soil around them because it can't be disturbed. They have that thick root mass, but quality soil. But then over here is where I'm digging out one about this size. But it is an undertaking if you have to dig them out and you let them get this big to where they're the big, you know, six, seven, eight foot tall because the root ball is just massive as you can see how deep it is and how far the roots go out. There's really no other good way to do this. If you try to dig them out without digging all the way around and popping the whole thing out, it's very hard to penetrate this, this just thick mass of, of grass in here. You can't just put a shovel through that. Really, you have to go all the way around and dig the whole thing up, pry it up with a shovel. Um, as you can see, I've trenched all the way around it, but I've still got quite a bit of digging to go to get underneath it. I haven't even got it to budge yet. This root ball probably weighs close to 200 pounds, um, so you're definitely getting it out of the hole. You need leverage, you need two by fours, you need uh, a couple of people. Uh, got a long way to go yet on this one, digging this one out. So. Not for the faint of heart, once you put ornamental grasses in, if you don't split them every couple years, pop them out, and they'll get this big, and then they're really, really fun to split. And once I do split this out of the hole, um, I usually have an old handsaw, an old tree handsaw that I use to cut them. First, I'll take a couple wax with the mattock to try to get a couple good smaller chunks off the sides, and then once I get in there, I'll take this already dull tree saw, and you can flip it upside down and hack through the uh, root ball. I'll make another video once I get this uh, this thing popped out of here. So when you're splitting ornamental grass, be prepared for a, a dig. This probably weighs 100 pounds, and this is like a medium-sized one compared to this one here. It's probably 150, 200 pound root ball. By the time you have to get them out of the hole, so generally. You need to dig up your ornamental grasses sooner than this if you want to split them. Because as old people, we can't be doing 100 pound root balls anymore. So we got to split these and dig them up more often. You got to dig all the way around, down, dig all the way around some more, and then kind of pop the thing right out. You're good. And then if you want to cut it in half, pretty much. And this is the best time of year to do this because. It hasn't really started growing yet, so you're not going to hurt it. Um, yep, you gotta get it. Uh, uh, this. And usually, you need a very large cutting tool because the root mass. This one I'm going to leave pretty small. I'm just going to cut off a chunk. That was a very small chunk. Oh no! This actually helps them grow a little bit better. So even by just taking a couple little wax, you can get nice chunks that you can then put in a pot for transport or smaller area. Get a small one started, you can see all the new growth inside. But that lets air get more to the center where it's super compact and it has a hard time growing up through all the year before thickness. So you really need to split them more than this, like almost in half, and generally it'll grow out into a nice new circle. This one we're gonna leave big like this, put it in the neighbor's yard, if you want it to stay big. Really should split it though. Maybe I will. Because otherwise it's not gonna go anywhere for years, forever. Ornamental grasses.